Would you ever adopt a burrow? <laughs> I, I would consider it, yes, if I don't have to put it in my backyard. It's a borough overload here in the state of Arizona, and scientists say the Sonora Desert can't keep up with the hungry herds. So there are seven of these herd management areas in Arizona, and the appropriate management number of boroughs for all of those together is about 1,400. But the Bureau of Land Management says the number of non-native wild donkeys now tops over 10,000 across the state. Dr. Esther Rubin with Arizona Game and Fish just released a study showing how the herds are stripping native plants like Palo Verde and Ironwood. Their system is less efficient, so per body size, they have to actually eat more. Without that shade, iconic species like our saguaro struggle to grow. And in areas with burrows, we saw a, a much lower recruitment of the young saguaros. Um, than we did in areas without burrows. Though federally protected, the Bureau of Land Management rounds up burrows into holding facilities. Some even train for adoption. Eventually, these burrows are going to eat themselves out of house, house and home, and they're going to spread into more areas. And that could put some of the burrows in our burrows. It is a, a risk to motorists. Um, we have had them hit on a number of these roads. In fact, on the road right outside of our office here. But there is a way that you can help. And that leads us to our question.